What's Nana reading? The Woman's Hour. This is my home brew inside of a trilogy bottle, and I want you to see the SCOBY. That's why I'm holding the camera this way. This is actually a second fermentation, and it did grow a little SCOBY because my Grosch bottle was not tight enough. So I'm just gonna drink it with a little sparkling water, and it does taste delicious. I've made good kombucha, but I've never gotten it quite like GT's trilogy, which is so good. This one is called Rebel in High Hills. It is the story about one woman who went up against a giant who was had a website that was putting up revenge porn, just being cruel, just making fun of women, stealing their pictures and showing it to people and it was a huge thing. Well, basically she just never gave up and it was actually pretty intense and it took a lot of work to even get it to happen for California to pass the law that made it illegal. Other states I think this is still a huge problem. So one of the stories it talks about is a woman that got her picture stolen from her phone, was from an Islamic family, and it would be death if, she, if, this, if the wrong people found out. They were able to take the website down, but I think it's, you know, it's still a problem. There's a lot of things on the black market. And this really should be something all states should consider. And it's been a while since I read it, but I think California and maybe one other state have laws about this. The other book that is a great read for women is called The Woman's Hour. It is about how long it took for women to get the right to vote and it took 70 years. Wyoming was actually the first state for it to pass and that says a lot about Wyoming, I think. The thing about this story is that it took a lot of work and what you'll find out when you read this is a lot of women were against women having the right to vote. And so those women were a force. <laughs> and it's just a really interesting read because I think it really applies to problems that we're facing now and how very often women are not supporting other women and it's okay for people to disagree but this just this book just reminds me of something that's happening now along the same theme of books about women having issues with revenge porn or getting things stolen from them getting lots of money stolen from them and it's so wrong and the kind of harassment that comes with that. And this is the book to read. If your daughter is not really into books and maybe they're kind of ignoring literature because this is somebody that has been very successful in Hollywood and yet loves to read. I think this is it. It's super funny. It's very, interesting there's poems in it it's just hilarious and has a very good message so i would definitely buy this book so the other thing about this book is she talks about all the harassment that she got and how she took it i mean you really see how she took it in such a classy way and just swallowed her pride and did things for causes that she cared about. She learned how to respond. So basically, you know, the kind of pressure she was under and the way she's able to communicate is really impressive. I really recommend reading these back to back because then you can pick up on the patterns that I am trying to put down here and that is that this could happen to you and it definitely is going to be a problem for our daughters. The women that came before us 
and the people that helped them really put a lot of effort to give us the right to vote. It took a long time. 